I'm Billy. I'm a student at the University of Chichester and I live in the Fishbourne Hills of Accommodation. And the reason I'm making this video is because when I was moving in, no one had made like a room tour video apart from like the official one. I don't know if that's changed now, but I wanted to make one because when I was moving in, I could not find anything on this accommodation. So I want to share. I'm standard, so this is just a massive fire door. It's automatic, you have a little key fob and then the light switch and then down into the room. Um, pretty basic. This is the bathroom over here. Um, you can hear the fan going. The lights are automatic. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me on but anyway. Lights are automatic. There's a mirror. There's this shelf space. A little toilet, Robert. Toilet. The shower. It's like, you know, not state of the art. You can't move it. It's attached to the wall. Basic controls. This floods in almost everyone that I've talked to is flat. So, um, probably the only way to clean it is to fix it as a drain cleaner. It worked for me, it worked for my friends, so might as well try it if it floods. But yeah, it's pretty basic. You don't get like any storage, although I've managed to fit a box of like cleaning supplies down the side of the toilet, so you might be able to do that too. But yeah, uh, it's actually a pretty decent toilet. Um, but yeah, moving on, you actually get quite a lot of plugs here. So you get these two here, and you get some down by the desk as well, and then also some behind there. That's how I checked. Anyway, um, full length mirror, a little fit check for you. Here, the movement of this, of the desk and everything, changes. Sometimes the things over there, depending on the flat, but it does just depend on the flat. But yeah, so there are absolutely no drawers in Chichester, which is in Fishbourne even, which is really inconvenient, but you get these cubbies. They are massive though, they're like the length of my arm, and I'm 5'11", so there's pretty lots of space. But they're really inconvenient for stacking clothes, so um, I haven't found a solution except to just sort of shove them in there. But you get quite a lot of like storage spaces, like I haven't really found a problem with the storage, like it's pretty nice. And then the desk area, again, there is no um, drawers but it does go the entire length of the desk and then you get this here to put your cables in because the cables are all down here and then you get this little thing but anyway you get this single pin board but they don't mind you putting stuff up on the walls as you can see um, the hooks left up and then there's like paint splotches from previous residents and stuff putting stuff up so they don't really mind you putting stuff up on walls but then here is pretty much the only like open shelf storage space you get. I know I had my books here and then like my sort of makeup and stuff as like a little decoration-y bit up here. Um, and then like folders and stuff over here. But yeah, you don't actually get that much like open storage space as you'd think. Um, but yeah, desk pretty out. This chair's pretty uncomfortable unless you have like a cushion. Uh, the windowsill sp the windowsill space is really good for Sorry, there's a person doing 3.10 and I don't want to shut off the license plate. The windowsill space is really good if you have like loads of plants. And that was really good for me. I had loads of fun. And then over here, you've got this. These are actually attached to the walls in some rooms. Um, mine wasn't, but this one is. So it does just depend on the room. But you've got little cubbies and everything in here. And these are also pretty helpful as a little bedside table and stuff. But yeah, over to the bed. The bed is just under a double, so it's slightly smaller, but it's the equivalent of a double, you can fit two people in it comfortably, it's not really a problem. You do get the light switch for this light over here, next to the bed, which is really helpful, but then both of them over there, so you can't control that one from bed, but that's never really been a problem. Um, and then under here, you've also got like full storage, which I think is quite useful, um, but yeah. There's like the quickest and worst room tour I think anyone's ever seen. But anyway, um, I would say overall the storage is pretty good. Make sure you've got boxes to put under your bed if you've got loads of stuff that you want to bring. And again, the drawers things, so maybe get like boxes or something to put in the wardrobes and like organizational stuff to put under your desk if you've got a lot of stuff you want to put there. But yeah, that's generally the only qualms I have is the lack of drawers. Um, but I get why they do it, it's because they break all the time and they don't want to be doing that. Um, but yeah, so the room layout, uh, there's almost all of them the same. So there's five rooms in a flat um, and the first four are identical. The fifth one is slightly bigger um, and depending on which side you're on, has windows in the A block as far as I'm aware. I don't know much about B block sizes and arrangements, but in the A block, if you're on first floor, second floor, the fifth one is bigger. 
um, on the third floor, the rooms are bigger generally and have bigger kitchens. So that's something to think about. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything that's even kind of important. The, the um, allocation process is completely random, which is kind of weird because I ended up living with three boys and me um, functionally. Practically, there was another girl living with me, but she didn't actually live here. She lived um, somewhere else and just, just kept her stuff here and paid the rent. And I saw her like once a month at most. So functionally, it was me and three boys living here, which you'd think would be a nightmare. Wasn't too bad. Very funny. They're great. We're, we're not like best friends. We're not moving in together. None of that. But we got along well. And that was all the room Like There was no arguments or anything within the flat, which was nice. Um, but it was actually quite a female heavy accommodation. And I think that's quite true for all the years. As far as I'm aware, that she trust is quite a female heavy school due to the musical theatre-ness of it. Um, so there is quite a lot of musical theatre students, which you know, you think about when you apply, but then you get here and you're like, oh, there's so many. Anyway, <laughs> the, but yeah, it's generally a really nice space. Um, and a fish one is the nicest. And yeah, I pay 156 pounds a week to live in this room. Um, it's actually, I think it's the cheapest um, accommodation the uni offers. So like, it's got the most facilities. It's got a cinema room, a study room, laundry on site, bike storage, um, a common room, which is really nice. You know, things like that. Um, that you know are really lovely. But like, Stockbridge is cheap. Is no, I think it's more expensive, but it's also bigger rooms with more storage. So, but it's also the shower is a literal hole in the wall. <laughs> So there's that to think about as well, but Fish One's actually a very nice place um, and it's very close to the Tesco, which I really enjoyed because I'm lazy and I don't want to carry, you know, you know when you carry like mixes back for miles, I don't want to do that and I don't have to because it's back across the street. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my little tour of Fish Mattresses. The mattresses, I can it. My mattress is so uncomfortable, I had to get two mattress toppers to make it sleepable get a good mattress topper if you're gonna live in fish one um i'd say like a memory foam one because the price that i paid for the two mattress toppers ended up working about the same as a memory foam one probably even more so yeah i'd say get a memory foam one the reason i didn't get a memory foam one because i already had one like it was like the dream dream pillow one or whatever um and that worked really well when there was two of them when there was one of them there was like a difference but when there was two of them it was perfect but yeah get like a memory foam mattress stopper or like a foam mattress stopper because the beds are so uncomfortable here like the springs click into your bed it's not the comfiest mattress um but apart from that it's really good if you, you can make it comfy like it's not a huge problem but the first night on this mattress ah oh, hell good thing for amazon prime but yeah that's that's my only piece of advice my biggest piece of advice um, I don't think I have any more quick work. Oh, and the hobs are induction hobs. So be careful with what pans you're buying because some of them don't work on induction hobs. Um, I never had the problem. My pans were fine. I never really thought about it. But my pans were fine. And the hardware here. So the toaster the university provided trips the electric every single week. Um, it got to so bad that it was every single day and we literally just bought a new one because we were done with it. The kettles are disgusting. We had to buy a new one because the line scale is horrendous in the south. I'm not from the south, I don't live in, um, my family's not from the south, I wasn't born in the south, I moved to the south for university. The, the lines get hurt, is atrocious. You need to get a kettle with like a mesh filter if you're going to use it, um, because if not, it is horrible. Also, the rooms trap heat, like nobody's business, you will be sweating when it's a heat wave. So, I would advise getting like a little fan or something. Um, my friends have like huge fans, I just have like a mini USB one that's like this big and that worked fine. Um, and then just had like a thin throat blanket that I threw on over and that was good. In the winter it can get quite chilly but the heat is pretty good. That's not, that was never really a problem, it was never really too cold. But yeah, the summer is horrible here because the windows are so big, especially if you're on the other side. Um, the windows get like the sun most of the day so it heats up very quickly. Um, and the windows don't open all the way in all the flats, like my window didn't open all the way out. It just opens half way, which is very inconvenient. But yeah. Um, the bike shed front because we have one here. Chip tester is so so flat. It's so easy. The cycling infrastructure here is incredible. There's cycle path literally everywhere. It's really really good and very cycle friendly in my opinion. Um, the hills here. So when I was looking to come here, I was like, oh, do I run my bike? Do I not? Um, and I read the reviews and they were like, oh, it's very hilly here. And I was like, oh no, 
yeah. So I came to the open day and then I got here and I was like, this is the flattest place I've ever been in my life. So lesson learned, Southern is a dramatic. I come from the Dales. Well, I moved from the Dales, I'm not from the Dales, but anyway, I, I live in the Dales. I know what hill is. It was not this. Um, it's very flat. There's one hill, the university's on it. Um, if you come the front way, you'll have to walk it. If you come the way the buses do, you have to walk it on the side path, holding your bike. If you come the roadway around the back, you can see the entire thing. That is up a hill that you can't walk. There's a really skinny little path that barely fits you and your bike. So you have to be prepared to do kind of a steep hill. And it's literally the only hill in Chichester. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident it's the only hill in Chichester. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Chichester is incredibly cyclable. Um, the road use, the drivers are very cycle friendly. Uh, I've never had a problem with any of them, not had like a car accident or anything, which is good. Obviously wear a helmet. But yeah, I think that, I just, I just love talking, frankly, so I think you should probably stop.